Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So, in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new equipment challenge. So, there's a new armor that's basically obtainable in the game, and uh, you can actually obtain a couple of them. I'm gonna go ahead and share my opinion whether it's actually worth it or not. And on top of that, we're also going to be taking a look at the um, previous relic armor that is now craftable, and it is worth crafting. And I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys which one it actually is. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, it's going to get started. Also, guys, there's a mini maze right now for Rizarka. If you guys need a triple damage booster, she's the one. Go ahead and go for it. I want to see who else is actually in here. Is it Jagar? Oh, that one. No, I really missed it. You've got to be kidding me. There was one for Jagar. I moved it a couple of steps because I needed to craft the monster, but I completely forgot. Are you kidding me? I could have gotten that monster for the book rewards. Now I'm upset. Not a good way to start the video, I've got to say. The thing is, I was very close. Look, I only need about, what, six cells? I guess I'll just go ahead and request the cells when the um, thing comes back. The mythic cell donation day, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll just do that. It's fine. So anyways, so let me go ahead and take this real quick. Also, take these crafted. Um, so first of all, let's go ahead and get it into the equipment challenge so here's the thing guys you can actually obtain up to three of them yeah so it is fropsy's armor that you can obtain there's two perks one of them is when that turn starts gives an armor with 42,500 points to wear obviously if the monster or sorry not the monster if the relic is actually at level 45 which is a maximum level this 42,500 will probably increase up to maybe a little over 100,000 or maybe a little below i don't know honestly we'll have to see actually there is a way to check Yes, if you head over here, head over to Reliquary, go to Obsidians, and let's say we'll do Missing. It should be somewhere over here. Do you guys see it? Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. It's all it's next to the Clerics armor. So, Fropsy's armor. Take a look at this. Uh, at level 45, it's actually 221,008 armor. Okay, so that's just one of the perks. You're going to start off with 221k life slash shield bonus. After being damaged by skill of the wares, life is below 25%, removes that many points of stamina from all enemies, and applies quicksand. So it comes with quicksand and torture, which is pretty good, especially against other monsters. But here's the thing. That 25%, not so good in my opinion. You might as well just eliminate the monster, you know what I mean? Like, if it was maybe 75% or even 50%, I would like that. But no, it's just 25%. Like, at that point... You might as well just eliminate the enemy, you know what I mean? Who cares about the quicksand? Um, so, I'm not really a huge fan of the second perk. That first perk is actually quite nice. Um, but there are other armors as well. I don't have Kalarx armor. You, you gotta be kidding me. I need to craft that one. That one's actually a good um, armor. But uh, let me see. So, I would rather go with like Vada Melzer armor. If not, let me see. I know there's another armor, Richa's armor. You could still play around with Richa's armor if you guys have it. Look. I know it gives 100k and it's half of it, but look at the second perk. When the return starts, heals aware by that many points. So there's three uses. You can heal 35k. That's basically about 90 or actually uh, over 100k actually times three because three uses. So like I still mess around with Rucha's armor, even though this was like what the first armor to get, um, you know, released in the game. So I still mess around with that. And look at this one. Although this one you have to be, you know, deal damaged by an enemy but still it gives you that 130k points of armor as well and it deals damage 64k so that kind of makes it up so in my personal opinion i don't think this uh, relic is actually worth your gems i'd recommend just saving your gems and maybe investing those gems towards um, either a details monster for next season if not you could probably just spend it towards either team race if not also bounty hunt purchasing you know, um, those coin packs and stuff like, not coin packs, stamina packs, and basically participating in that. But obviously, I'm just going to go ahead and get myself some of these um, basic relics in the beginning uh, for free, or if not, just for just some gems, I guess. Um, probably going to cost me like 5, 10 gems the most. But anyway, so there's hatching eggs and also feeding monsters. So we're going to go ahead and feed a monster real quick. And I'm also going to let you guys know what relic is now craftable, right? It's a really good relic, I've got to say. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That should be four. And we just have to hatch an egg. So if I take this, whoops. Um, I'll sell this because I don't have any space available. There we go. Apparently that's hatching an egg. <laughs> All right. So that's done. Uh, now I just got to wait. I'm not spending 32 gems. Get out of here. All right. So with that being said, 
um let's head over to the relic area because i need to show you guys what's actually craftable now so normally what happens is when a new relic becomes obtainable let's say now in the armor category if we tap on here go to the armor category we have about this much right we have about what three well i have three in mine anyways um but the armor before that was water melter's armor so this right here is now craftable this wasn't craftable previously it just became craftable recently and i wanted to let you guys know about it because it's actually a really good armor i'd rather take this and craft this and level this one up over the uh, Fropsy's armor to be honest like look at this two perks first perk is really nice because after being damaged by skill you deal 89k points of fire damage there's three turns to that which is really good when the turn ends if the warrior's life is below 50 percent it heals a warrior by 170k points and that's two uses so really good i mean that's below 50 percent not the 25 percent like Fropsy's armor and then removing stamina which can be basically recoverable so the only thing we're really doing is just supplying quicksand I'm not really a huge fan of Fropsy's armor, to be honest, but um, this, I would say, craft it, level it up if you can. Now, me personally, I already have it at level 45, so I don't really need to do it, but here's what I'm going to do. I might actually go ahead and craft myself Kerox armor. So the thing with Kerox armor, what I really like is the second perk. I actually didn't know about this until, like, the recent war. I know, it sounds kind of silly, right? Um, so apparently the second perk right here you can regenerate your stamina whenever the stamina is below 50 percent which is pretty sweet like what 348 points of stamina whenever your stamina is below 50 percent that's really good so an armor that basically regenerates your stamina heck yeah so i would rather just craft this or the vada melter's armor to be honest both of them are craftable so of course you're gonna need about what 11 12 diamonds so this is four five six i feel like i'm playing minecraft seven eight nine 10 11 and about 12 oh yeah so 12 diamonds to craft yourself the subsidian and we're gonna go ahead and craft it bam take that all right so we got ourselves killer's armor now which is pretty sweet now obviously i'm gonna have to go ahead and uh you know rank that up how many of these i have 157 bronze to play around with and what about the silvers and golds so i have 292 I don't have any silvers. Oh, there it is, 40, I'm blind. Um, so here's what I'm going to do though. Uh, let me actually check to see the news if there is any relic experience. So let's see. Also during this event, fusing relics gives you 20% more experience. Okay, sweet. So all I need to do is head over here and where are the silvers? We're just gonna go ahead and skip them. Aha, it's a chest opening video slash whatever else we're doing right now <laughs> um reviewing the new equipment challenge and going over what's craftable now did i didn't get any diamonds no diamonds nope okay so anyways what we're gonna do is of course use that now towards this so go to the obsidian and it should be one of the level ones right here killer Arcs armor level it up we're gonna autofill until whatever level we can get it to all right so i would recommend doing it right now guys it is very very nice take advantage of this right now uh i'll just get it to like level 40 that's fine we'll use some more golds then i have so many golds dude might as well use a gold huh because i have no use for them oh sweet we can get it to level 45 oh let's go so we're gonna use basically all of these to level up this armor to level 45 sweet i got myself Kellogg's armor now at level 45 which can basically help me regenerate stamina and stuff Okay, awesome. That's going to be nice for Team Wars. Um, but yeah, if you need to, um, you know, fuse relics, this is the best time right now. I'd recommend doing it. Hey, my base has 16 coins left. I have a pretty interesting base setup, huh? <laughs> uh, let me see who attacked me. I could probably do like a war video, guys. What do you guys think? So Sarah, let's see. Hamsley, and who else? Edward. Okay, so... I got some defense here and there, pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want a team war, if you guys want to see a team war video, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll go ahead and do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.